Hello, my name is Amanda Burma. I'm with Frog Logic, and today I'm going to show you our Atlassian Bamboo integration, combining CI and Squish GUI Tester. Using the Bamboo integration with Squish, we're able to have project plans, which can execute Squish test suites, collect the data, and report it back to Bamboo. By simply running the test plan, we'll be able to see the build as it's executing with a stage that we've defined, automated GUI tests, and jobs associated with that stage. And then each job can have one or more tasks, and those tasks are what can run the Squish GUI tests. Your jobs can run in parallel if you have more than one agent configured to run Squish tests at the same time, or they can run sequentially if they're running against the same agent. So our build was successful, and we can see no new failures, two existing failures. So while two tests did fail, we know that those aren't any new failures, but existing failures, and that no tests have been fixed since the last build. More test information down below about the tests that ran, which ones failed, are listed here, what build they've been failing since, the job they're associated with, so if we want to view that job and its result summary, we can see the agent that it executed against, again, the test case that failed, and then if we want more details about the test case that failed, in the Artifacts tab, we can see our Squish results, three tests, two passed, one failed, and with the test failures, we're automatically capturing a screenshot any time a test fails so that you're able to see a screenshot of the error. To configure a test, I'm going to configure my plan, and this is where I can see my stages. So I have one stage defined in this particular build plan called Automated GUI Tests, in which I have two jobs. Again, the jobs can run in parallel. If we go into one of the jobs, we'll see that this job has two tasks, both Squish Runner type tasks, and in a Squish Runner task, you're specifying a description of the task, the test suite that you'd want to execute, or if individual test cases, defining those test cases by listing them, as well as the agent you'd like to run against, any environment variables, and whether or not the integration should stop and start the server, Squish server, automatically when it's executing the task. We've also indicated in the requirements that for this task to execute, the Squish requirement must exist, as well as the artifacts that should be generated, which will generate the reports that you saw as attached artifacts from the job that executed and the plan summary. Visit froglogic.com to read more about Squish GUI Tester 5.1 features and evaluate Squish today.